everybody, this is Nir Bashan, author of The Creator Mindset. This is a book that McGraw-Hill released about how to be more creative at work. And speaking of creative, I have here with me Peter Desberg, who published a book with McGraw-Hill called Pitch Like Hollywood. What you can learn from the high stakes film industry. Peter, welcome to McGraw-Hill's Coffee Break. Good morning. Are you, are you up? Are you running? Um, no, no. I'll be up in about an hour and a half. All right, let's dive in here. Pitch like Hollywood. Peter, why, why this book and why now? Why is this so important? Well, the Hollywood part's real easy because I've sat through a bunch of pitches where people are standing in front of a, a screen with bullet points reading them, and I'm hoping one of the bullets hits me right in the neocortex. <laughs> and Hollywood has its own way of pitching, and the two things I never see in, in other people's pitches is they don't invoke curiosity, and there's not much emotion in there, and those are the things that really affect people and get them to change their minds about things. Curiosity and emotion, two incredible components of presentation that we can learn from Hollywood and use in the corporate world. Peter, tell us more about why those two things are so important. When, when you read a good book, you refer to it as a page turner. You want people to think, well, what's coming next? So if you have a good story with conflict in it, people want to know, how did it turn? How is it going to turn out? What's going to happen? That's what you want. And I can give you a very quick example. Just um, one easy technique is if you ask people questions. Asking questions is wonderful because... When they give an answer, they're invested in wanting to know if they're right. Now, if you pick a, a question that um, isn't obvious, um, we know that China steals our copyrights like crazy. What area do you think they steal the most? I don't know. What, what area? What area do they steal? Yes. I want you involved. Uh, I want to say technology. I think they take a lot of our phone technology. Great, a great answer. The real answer, Prozac. Wow. So again, if I get your curiosity and then I surprise you with the answer, you're a little more likely to say, hey, you know stuff I don't know. Let me hear it. Let's see where this is going. Curiosity gets you more engaged in the process and can do wonders, wonders for you at work. Peter Desberg published a book called Pitch Like Hollywood, What You Can Learn from the High Stakes Film Industry. Peter, tell me, I get a little nervous sometimes when I present, right? I get, like, anxious. I'm not a Hollywood type. How does this book help me with that? Well, we limited it to just four chapters on Stage Fright. Um, so I can summarize those pretty quickly by holding up my fingers. Um, but one of the things that, that you can do is practice really well and... By practicing, there's a thing called state-dependent learning. You practice as close to performance conditions as possible. Things you normally wouldn't do. Um, practice wearing the same clothes you're going to do. Now, that sounds really simple-minded. I, I had this 16-year-old violinist I was working with who was giving his first big, important recital. I said, hey, a couple of days before, get, get those clothes on. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He practiced six hours a day, always with his uniform, T-shirt, jeans, and shorts. So the night of the performance comes, and he takes out his patent leather shoes for the first time, puts them on, and they're digging into his ankles. He's got his pants and cummerbund and jacket on, and he can't move from side to side when he plays. And he's got a big starch collar like this, and the violin just doesn't work right. He bombed. Ask me if I said I told you so. So all of those things, if you're going to practice with a screen, then that's the way you're going to do it. If you're going to be using a clicker to advance your slides, you want to become bulletproof. You want to practice, while you practice, have people distract you. Do all sorts of things that prepare you for being in the room. We tell people, when you really think you have your pitch down, Run in place really hard and then give your pitch. When you're out of breath, all of a sudden you're simulating a panic attack. If you can give it then, 
Practice literally makes perfect. My guest today on Coffee Break is Peter Desberg. He published a book called Pitch Like Hollywood. Uh, Peter, last question that we all want to know is how did this book make us more creative? How does it make us more creative? Again, uh, Hollywood is almost a synonym for that. And once you start thinking about story, you know, we know that story is the way we communicate. The, I'm a cognitive science guy. I can show you reams of data that says you'll be remembered better, you'll be understood more with a story. We don't like facts. We love stories. And again, if you can do it so that you get the people saying, where's this going? What's going to happen? And even, you know, even when you start out with the driest topic, if you start thinking, um, let me see, uh, we've got some... Um, funding source problems. Well, turn that into conflict, and all of a sudden you got a story. And all of a sudden people want to know what happens. Love it. My guest today, Peter Desberg, who published a book called Pitch Like Hollywood. Thank you so much, sir, for being on the show. My absolute pleasure. Thanks for making it so easy. <laughs>